point out the anatomy. Here's the uh, the eye. And here's the bullet hole under the and shoot the water up. And they don't have teeth because these are great whales, so they have those sheets of baleen that they see that they sain plankton out of the water with. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they don't, these are actually toothless whales as all the great whales are. Um, and they have these just plate after plate of compressed hair that water enters through and then it has a fuzzy side that catches the plankton. And when they get their mouth full of it, they just swallow it. Um, they swallow like a big mouthful. Most of what we sell is plastic nowadays. They're actually casts because you can't get a lot of endangered species can't be sold and, and uh, animals are hard to get. So out of the 600, roughly 600 products that we sell, um, only 100 of them are real. That's because these are uh, unearthed. Because in a lot of countries, you're not allowed to buy it. You're not allowed to buy a burial plot indefinitely. You just rent them until the person is uh, decomposed. Really? And then they're interred, and then a lot of times they go back to the family or whatever. So, are these going to be returned, or are these for? No, no, no. Once they go to the family, they decide what they want to do with them, and a lot of them are sold into. Uh, Human anatomy market, which is what we do. I mean, we sell them in the, primarily in the anatomy classrooms. Christmas sales. Christmas sales. Christmas sales. Believe it or not. But there are people that, you know, that are into this. Probably our number one sale item at Christmas time, believe it or not, is a human skull. And we believe that's because people were willing to spend more money on family and friends at that time. And I don't think it has to do with the fact that it's human as much as it is it's a pricey item. And it's useful when it comes to uh, biology student, nursing student, whatever it can be. carefully on your forearm and all over your body.